But time for Ferdinand Marcos was running out. In contrast to the elegance of the palace, on their final night, the Marcos family, apparently fearing attack, slept in a basement storeroom for the banquet crystal. On that final day, Marco staged his last inaugural, a final speech to 2,000 invited supporters, and from Imelda, a final song. Dahil Sayo. Dahil Sayo. Because of you, there is a reason for living. On their last day in the Philippines, a sad ballad sung for the last crowd to cheer for Ferdinand and Imelda Marcos. Malacanang Palace is now open to the general public. President Aquino wants especially the Philippine poor to see the extravagance of the last regime. But in all this, Filipinos are seeing only a fraction of the Marco splendor, for most of their wealth is not here at all, but rather in foreign lands. You? Jim Laurie in Manila, and thank you.